Hi friends, I'm Nicole. Welcome back to Affordable Practical Living. Today we're going to be doing an easy corn cob jelly recipe. Here's 12 cobs that I had frozen from last October when I processed a bunch of corn. Um, and then you're going to want to put them at a boil for 15 to 20 minutes. Some recipes say 10 minutes. I want full flavor, so I'm going to go ahead and do 20. While these are boiling, I have put my clean jars into a stock pot. I'm actually using my pressure canner for this. Uh, these are not gonna be pressure canned, but I'm using the canner as my stock pot. And I don't know if you can see the simmering in there, the bubbles, but these need to be hot when you pack them. So I will let this continue. I've got a little bit left on this. Once this is done, I'll bring you back and we will get started. Okay, friends, so that's been 20 minutes. I'm going to go ahead and just start removing these cobs from here. Because we're after the liquid, not the cobs. Wonderful. Strain this instead of a fine mesh strainer here. I don't know if you can see this or not. I need three and a half cups. gonna go ahead and strain this you could probably keep those in I don't know I'm not gonna all right so I'm gonna get rid of the rest of this water over here and I'll bring it right back all right so I'm just gonna pour that back into here I'm going to add a box of Sure Gel, which is pectin. If you don't have a box of pectin like that, it's 1.75 ounces or 1 and 3 fourths ounce. So I'm just going to pour that in. I'm going to bring this back up to a boil. And I'm going to go ahead and whisk that too. I want to whisk this in. Okay, once this is at a full boil, I'll bring it back. Okay, friends, so that is boiling. I'm going to go ahead and add four cups of sugar. I've got sugar sticking to the bottom. Okay, and we're gonna bring this back up to a hard boil. Stirring constantly. Once this is at a hard boil, we time it for five minutes. And you can see that I'm not just whisking, I'm also cleaning up those cobs and setting down stuff for when my jars are ready to go. That way everything's prepped and ready. That is how fast it needs to be going to boil. Let me switch you guys up. I'm timing it. Five minutes. Stir it constantly. I stirred constantly for five minutes. Okay. Now we're just gonna go ahead and ladle the, this into, can you see my jars? There we go. You're gonna wanna fill all your jars to one fourth inch headspace. And I had gotten ready six jars, but it ended up being exactly five, which was what the recipe had, but I had hoped for six. But it was exactly five, which is perfectly fine. And I'm just topping them all off just to make sure that I get every last bit of it. Okay. That is it. I'm just going to skim that off. Just get a little bit of that skimmed off there. Okay. 
So now you're gonna wanna wipe these down and make sure that the rims are clean with the paper towel. Ooh, these are hot, 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 hot. So let's get this one out of the way. Wipe all those rims down. Normally I use vinegar, but you don't need vinegar in the water bath. At least not that I've ever been told. Now I'm just gonna go back over these. One more time. Gonna spill a little bit right there. Okay. From there, you're gonna put the lids on. I'll put the lid on that one so I don't lose it. Okay, and then you're gonna put these finger tight. This is gonna be hot for me, so I'm gonna go ahead and Grab a washcloth. Just make sure all of these are finger tight, but not too tight. So now I'm gonna place these into the canner or into whatever it is you're using. We need to add water. Okay friends, once these come up to a boil, if your altitude is less than a thousand feet, then you only process for five minutes. If you're over a thousand feet, you process for 10 minutes. Anything over 2,000 feet, you add one more minute per 1,000 feet. I'm at 4,600 feet. So I'm gonna go 15 minutes once this starts boiling. Now, if you only have a pressure canner and you're using your pressure canner pot, just put a lid over it like this, this will help. Don't secure it, don't, or anything like that. Just put it over it. If you don't have a lid for your pot at all, that's fine. You can continue to do this, but you definitely, if you have a lid to cover it, it's better. So, all right, I'll bring you right back when it's done. Okay, so I just turned it off. It's been about 15 minutes. I'm gonna let that cool down just a little bit before I remove them. I'll bring it right back. Okay, guys. So those are fresh out. I just, Took these out. I've heard two. Oh, there's three pops. I need, there's four. I need one more pop. One more. We're looking for one more. There you have it, guys. Corn cob jelly. This is supposed to taste like honey after a couple months in the pantry. But there you go. If you like what you saw, like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.